I always have a shiny forehead. You think this will do it? <laughs> this will do it? <laughs> and that'll, you need a little extra, is that what you're saying? All right. What's in this, what about the timer? What about those little things that you stick in your collar? Oh, yeah, the little white things. The little white things. That's right. Are we on? I think we're on. <laughs> <laughs> we need to dial up. <laughs> Quick, we're cheating. We're cheating, yeah, we're, we're cheating. We're, we're so powdering. Vain. We're so vain all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, we're so vain. Oh, well. Okay, guess what, Mike? What's ah! going on? Um, registration for PDC is still open. Wow. We haven't sold out yet, but we're getting close. Getting close, yep. It's on the, it's on the upswing. <laughs> but save $200 by registering um, by September 8th. And that's, I mean, this show is probably going to publish on a Thursday or a Friday. That's like right around the corner, Only right? Only a couple of days left. So go do and it. that's it. No so, more discounts. So convince the boss. Well, this PDC is going to be amazing. If you go out and look at that content list... Yep. That you can, there's stuff on there that you're not going to get anywhere else, and that this is the first time you're going to hear it. So you're going to be way ahead of your competitors if you come to the PDC. We make a lot this. of lot of announcements. We talk about the future of the platform, reveal lots of secret things. Yes, uh, it's always exciting. Of course, we can't say what those secret things are yet. But you pointed to content. I assume you want me to talk about a little bit of the content that we have coming up. Uh, it turns out also on Monday. Yes. So on September 8th, we're going to reveal a big wave of sessions. Um, so the sessions that are out there, first of all, aren't all of the sessions. Of course uh, It's not. about half the number of sessions that we'll actually have at the event. So we have lots of things. Um, matter of fact, we'll have over 200 sessions total um, by the time you show up at the event. And we'll publish some on uh, Monday, the, the 8th. We'll publish some in early October, a small set, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> and then even a, hopefully even a smaller set actually at the actual event. But unfortunately, those titles reveal little secret details uh, that you know we can't. You know, we, there's, there's really no way we struggle to reveal them in a non-specific way. But when you take out the specific, specific, whatever it is, this is a useless session. So That's we don't what you bother should tell your boss. That. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, you're my boss. Yeah. <laughs> no. So here's some topics. Yeah. Uh, among the topics: SharePoint, Live Platform, Mesh, Dynamics, Sync Framework, Identity, which is a big issue. Huge. Especially, you know, we're going to talk about services a bit. Yep. On-premises software we've had for a while. You know, what's the what's the identity story? Right. How do we know Jennifer's really Jennifer? So you don't have to enter your password you know, five hundred right. times. Uh, the new fast acquisition for search that we have: SQL Server 2008, Office Communication Server, Exchange, uh, our ad platform. So we have some sessions on our ad platform and what we're doing there. Uh, for the first time, I, I think, at a session, Surface. So wow. Microsoft Surface. What do I do with the, uh, cool. the SDK to develop stuff on Surface? I'm going to go to that session. Well, it's going to be full. <laughs> we might not let you in. Uh, the future of ASP.NET. We've got some sessions on that. Uh, Open XML, Silverlight, of course. We've got a couple sessions on Inside the Olympics. So, you know, we did this big Olympics yes. broadcast for the Beijing Olympics. What did it take? You know, the, the, it's kind of a case study. Like, what did it take to build that? From a back-end infrastructure perspective, well, I can't talk today, uh, all the way to Silverlight on the front end. Right. Uh, parallelism and concurrency again, Oslo, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Team System, uh, managed and native interop, performance and considerations, virtualization, workflow foundation, communication foundation, XNA, Iron wow. Ruby, and the list goes on. That's and not so even all of them. so much more. So much more. So a lot of this is extension of content that's already published. Some of it's even new content. Wow. And there'll even be more. Wow. So lots of great stuff that's to exciting. sign up for. We'll have lots of, lots of fantastic things. Um, that are coming out. So from a content perspective, good yeah. reason to be excited. And keep checking and the, site the site because you keep publishing new updates to That's content. Right. That's right. So cool. lots of good data there. By the way, there's session details pages a lot of people don't know about. If you look up the session and you click on session details, you'll actually see some more data. So like wow. references to blog sites or kind of information you can read ahead of time just to get ready for, for PDC. Very cool. Not, not required, but, but nice to have. So who's coming to PDC? Who's coming? Well, I do have some data on that. I Funny bet you, that you do. Should ask. By the way, askthebrain.net. What's it, askthebrain.net? Go find out. We're going to have to go find out. That's all out. I'm saying. Ask the Ask brain. The brain. Dot net. That's all, right. all I'm saying. We're going to have to check that one out. So reg data. Yes. When you register, you fill out some things, and we, it's interesting to think about who shows up. Uh, about half of our attendees have attended a PDC before, so we get a lot of repeat customers, right. um, which is great. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's an audience that, that loves the PDC, no doubt about it. About a quarter of them have attended a tech ed before, mm -hmm. and uh, very few actually have attended Mix, so not a lot of overlap with the Mix audience, and there's, there's a little bit of a difference there. Right. Uh, primary reason for attending, it's a write-in field. For those of you that have registered, probably remember it. So we just did a word count on the most popular words, mm -hmm. and interestingly enough, the first four words make a sentence. Learn new Microsoft technologies, which is pretty, pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> then development, future, upcoming, and direction. So direction, future of the company, and so on. Our messaging is landing. It must be landing. Are you saying we're doing messaging? <laughs> Primary responsibility at the organization. Architecting applications, 45%. Writing code, 35%. So majority of the audience, Architects architecting or, or writing, or writing code. Right. Uh, by country, interesting number. 54% of our attendees are from the U.S., right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so big international audience, wow. which is the number that, uh, that I like to hear. Definitely. And then just for fun, we took uh, first names and did the same word count. <laughs> Most popular name at PDC right now, Michael. Yeah, <laughs> I wrote the algorithm. I suppose I should be first. David, Peter, Mark, Paul, Richard, Andrew, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on with Sounds lots like and a, lots of names. the Bible. <laughs> You're right. 
the books of PDC. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying there are the no books women of PDC. names in there, but I know there will be soon. Yeah, there will be soon. And they're going to be registering sign, for that sign pre up all your Women in Technology pre-conference. That's right. That's right. Good one. So, that's interesting. That but is. what's even more interesting are your hard hat challenges. Yeah, and the hard hat challenges. These have been pretty popular, You're by the way. dumping let's, people. Let's deliver. Oh, that's yours, isn't it? Let me grab oh, mine. Yeah. So we put this hat. on so we can do uh, the hard hat challenge. This is number five. Wow. By the way, I tried to put the straps on so they didn't go so far down. <laughs> That's like a challenge in itself. I've wasted too much Microsoft time <laughs> trying to put those straps in there. So, so I've got a, a friend who used to be in the .NET Framework team, who, believe it or not, is going to open, well, you know, former friend, former <laughs> .NET Framework team, uh, is going into the seed business, right? yes. so seeds. And I brought some seeds along. Apparently, this is the business that, uh, that, that he's going to get into. And I helped him record a message. And the message is actually the challenge. Is this a true story? So, no, it's not a true story. It's completely <laughs> fictitious. Was I that sincere? <laughs> So uh, I'll that actually, I'm going to take the audio file, and when we post this show, yes. I'm going to write a comment right away and link to that audio file. And the audio file, plus what I've just said, hopefully gives you enough clues to, to figure out the answer to this week's challenge. Okay, bring it so, on. So that's the challenge, and, you know, seeds. So we also had, before I talk more about hard hat challenges, there was another question that we had from, well, you're going to leave your hard hat on. I am. <laughs> you can't see me. I can't, I can't see, see you at all, no. We had a question from Alex. I didn't catch his last name, unfortunately. Are you guys going to give out software like you did with Vista and Expression at Mix? Good question. So at Mix 07, for example, we gave out both of those, right. those products. So I, I happened to grab what we gave out, um, which is called The Goods. It's oh, in yeah. this rubberized package. I think it was actually made by the same firm that did the Lord of the Rings double DVD set. <laughs> and in it, Look this was that. this was for PDC 05, by the way. That was cool. These, this is about... 30, if I remember, 35 gigabytes oh, of content, and a lot of this you couldn't get unless you came to the PDC. Right? We do tell CPDs. the boss. Tell the boss. That's right. Tell the boss. You can't <laughs> get it unless you come. And obviously, we're going to do something similar this year. We can't uh, divulge any of the details oh. now. But giving out bits is kind of a PDC tradition. I know and what get, it is. I'm so excited. Yeah, 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 whatever. And getting access. So, so to, to answer Alex, Alex, absolutely we'll be giving out some cool word, stuff. Yes. Yes, we are. But, absolutely. you know, verbose, verbose Michael over here. Verbo we can't talk <laughs> but, today. But, 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 you're running out of time. Yeah, Robert, we can't. We do these after we go to the bar. Hard hat challenge. Right, right, we got to do these sober. <laughs> we got to do these sober. All right, bring it on. Hard hat challenge. So we, we, I want to talk about some prior hard hat challenges. Okay. Amazing work people have done. So hard hat challenge number four, our most recent one, uh, Judah on Channel 9 didn't solve it, but helped with a lot of statistical help. I love right. to see the community helping each yes. other kind of solve the challenge, which was great. But ultimately, if I'm saying the name right, Boldazar from Hungary, a Hungarian, 15-year-old. 15! Can you believe that? A teenager. A teenager solved this thing, which is amazing. Um, and it was, I actually have the challenge here, if anyone remembers it. It was this. And people say, well, what the heck is this, Mike? Because yeah. they see it on my desk. So this, if, if you did the stats on it uh, from a geek perspective, you'll notice there are no zeros and ones, but there are eight different digits that are used on this sheet. Oh. Right? And if, you, if you're from way back uh, or you think kind of in octal, yeah. octal is an eight-digit numbering system. Well, and how can then, a 15-year-old then think way back? That's a good question. He just knows different uh, numbering systems, a new octal, oh. new to, to take this in octal, convert it to ASCII, Right? And then notice a little equal sign up here at the beginning of this text. Yeah. Recognize that it's base 64 encoded text, and equal signs normally go at the end. So we reversed it, which you should have done. Wow. Decoded the base 64 into a byte stream. And I think probably didn't know what to do at that point until he noticed the header that said GIF, which is GIF, right. the graphics interchange format, file format. Open it up in an image browser, and there was a little message. Matter of fact, I had it here somewhere. Fine, Mike. Here's Marty Pants. Yeah, no, no, it's not me. It's just, it's <laughs> well, amazing. You're the one creating well, all these Well, it's things. fun to create them. I mean, as long as people are having fun solving Someone them. Someone asked me, like, are these kind of like coming out of a book or something? I'm like, no, he's totally making them up on his own. Totally making them up on their own. So, so on my own. So, Boldazar, awesome job. Um, hard Hat Challenge number three. We had Tom, Thomas Scheidegger, I think is how you say it, Nate, mm -hmm. from Switzerland. Um, I had to give a couple clues on this one because this was the super hard, hard one. Matter of fact, I wasn't even sure that I did it right. I just like triple check <laughs> these things because I, I hate to feel like I'm wasting anyone's time. Um, and I actually spent time, believe it or not, a few evenings ago with Elizabeth, my wife. Mm -hmm. I said, Elizabeth, we have to manually solve this and I need your help because it's a lot of work. So I manually solved it. I took some old business cards Aww. and wrote it down and ended up solving it. But it's Cute. based on Huffman coding which is an old technique for uh, encoding things efficiently. He wrote a 1952 paper called A Method for the Construction of Minimum Redundancy Codes that this was based on. Uh, the hints were required. Yeah. So you kind of had to listen to me or read the hints. Mm -hmm. But it was solved. Are I, you showing I'm your stunned. age? What's I'm with all this old stuff? What's all this gray hair? Fast forward, man. All this gray hair. Hard hat challenge number two, if we're going back.